fear is a very real thing and it's a good thing like if you get back to our you know caveman days like fear and stress like that's how you didn't get eaten by the lion or get eaten by the bear so we're talking about um unbreakable leadership one of the biggest things that we've talked about recently is fears mm -hmm. five areas of life multiple fears in those areas of life what was your biggest fear what did you find was one of your biggest fears that popped out to you in one of those five areas um let's see so the physical is pain it's not really i don't think it's really a big one for me um the intellectual is like being found out and i think that's that's a relatively prevalent one um when you're putting out content at the scale that we're putting out um trying to continually learn and really embody the things that you're talking about I think there's a lot of people out there that are just talking about it and not being about it, uh, not actually doing the things that they um, that they talk about on a regular basis. And so I think that's something that I've always been, I wouldn't say concerned with, but cognizant of, is making sure that I'm not putting anything out that I'm not actually doing myself. Uh, so that's a big one. Um, relationships, the fear of being alone. Uh, I just certainly don't like to be alone, but I don't think that's a huge, huge fear of mine. Um, let's see, what's the big one for wealth? Uh, I think it's the fear of loss. That one's pretty, I mean, that's that's a pretty real fear, um, especially if you're you know, starting something new, which we are. Um, the fear of it not working out is, is certainly there. Um, but I think for me, that fear is a driver uh, not necessarily like something that's paralyzing. It's something that you know you put forth more effort and more intense focus because of the fear of it not working out. Um, and then the spiritual fear is just that life is meaningless, and I certainly don't don't really prescribe to to that notion. Um, and I think the reality is most people don't either, but that is a fear. Um, but it's interesting how Tom talks about if you feel like life is meaningless, when you explain how life is meaningless, your answer will be full of meaning. Um, so it's, that's a kind of an interesting one. So I think the, the biggest one is, is making sure that I'm continually learning and adopting all of the things that we're you know, talking about and that I'm living my life in a way that's portrayed on social media. Um, I think anytime I'm, you know, doing like Q and A or speaking, it just makes me extremely uncomfortable to talk about things that I'm not, that I either haven't done or I'm not doing currently. Uh, I think I, I look at a lot of my leadership skills as just by example. And so I would, I would never want to tell somebody to do something that I've never done before or that I'm not doing right now. Um, so I think that's, I don't know if that necessarily is a fear, but it's something that's like very front of mind for me to make sure that everything that we're doing, all the things that we're talking about, all the things that we're posting about, that this comes from a, a place of experience, not just um, knowledge, you know. Uh, I think when you're around somebody like Tom, you know, I feel like I do have a lot of knowledge that he has more application of that knowledge in chaotic, crazy circumstances. Um, but the whole idea of your intellectual pyramid is to continually be learning every single day. And it's learning something new, it's learning new ways of doing things that you're already doing. And then just time to spend strategically, just like thinking outside the box of how all these things are connected and um, kind of a free flowing idea of what's possible down the road. Um, I think that's a huge focus of mine right now is the, on the intellectual side um, to make sure that that doesn't become a fear, uh, to make sure that that fear doesn't become a reality. Mm -hmm.